Rich Durrani with TMC. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're at Cloud Expo 2012 in Santa Clara, California. We're in the Akamai booth and I'm speaking with uh, Gary. Uh, how are you? Very good. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, we're thrilled to have you. Now, many uh, people uh, who are watching know your company as uh, Innovator, the originator in the uh, CDN space, mm -hmm. and I was hoping you'd give us maybe a more robust description of what your company does now. Sure, so um, our, our, our services are pretty vast. So, you know, they range from, from media delivery as well as delivering of, of sites and applications online. Um, and we're here at the show today really talking about you know, how we enable cloud adoption and how we integrate with a lot of organizations' cloud strategies, accelerating those uh, applications on a global basis, um, you know, and, and really applying our service you know, in that way. So um, I am aware of, of some of the customers that you have that mm -hmm. um, use your network, uh, at least one of them for email, and um, their basic argument is that their email will be as responsive as having a server in your office, and in part because they use your network which has uh, reliability and mm -hmm. speed. Is that, is that something your, your customers are saying more often? Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, just at the core of our services, is it's a distributed platform, and it's really all about, you know, global reach, right, or just extended reach, right? So if you're operating from a centralized location and you're trying to reach end users all over the world, we really help you do that in a very scalable and high performing way. Um, we've, we've really, you know, we were able to extend our services, you know, not just by providing uh, performance capabilities, but also providing you know highly secure capabilities as well. That's one of the th areas that we've actually you know branched out into this year, uh, because when you run a globally distributed platform the way that we do, it becomes a very natural defense mechanism, um, which is a great um, a great add-on also to anybody who's running from a cloud environment as well. So. Um for the viewers out there that are considering talking to you about their cloud deployments, mm -hmm. uh, how will they know if you're the right fit for them? In other words, is there, uh, is there, are there some criteria that they need to fit into? Yeah, so I mean, I think from a high level, you know, it, it comes down to, are you, are you concerned about the end user's experience? So your end users that are coming to, you know, to your application, to your site, and however they're coming to that, right, coming from browsers or mobile devices, right, if, you know, they're having poor experiences or as you're branching out globally and you're finding poor experiences, you know, those are areas where we can really help out with. And it really doesn't matter if you're a large company or a small company, we work with all different size of companies, you know, to really help, you know, bring better services, quality of service to their global end users. So it's fair, is it fair to say that if, uh, if I'm adopting your solutions for my own in-house team, the productivity increase is what I would look at in terms of the ROI. Let's say if I'm a trading firm, you could, you could obviously make the case that the productivity and, and just the uh, more rapid access to information is important, but then if I'm a, a reseller of cloud services, then you could make the argument that they in turn could market the fact that they are, uh, they've got a better performing cloud and subsequently can generate more revenue and, and have a more sticky service. Yeah, absolutely. From a cloud provider standpoint, you know, that's one of the areas that we're looking to extend our services, you know, integrate with more cloud providers. Uh, we have partnerships with Salesforce and Rackspace and HP right now, where essentially we're able to extend our global capabilities, you know, with their uh, services, right? So that's one area that we're improving. But from an ROI standpoint, you know, it's really about, you know, how we can help you drive more traffic, drive more users to the site, so you can possibly increase revenues in that way. Um, there's also ways where if you're operating your own infrastructure, if you can offload through Akamai, you can also decrease costs. Um, and also, like you said, just from a productivity standpoint, if you're able to help with a better performance, you can improve productivity as well. So there's a, several different areas from an ROI standpoint where we can help out. Fantastic. Are there any forward-looking things, any new um, products, new areas that you're going to be in that customers should know about? Yeah, I mean, from a forward-looking standpoint, we're absolutely, uh, we're making key investments in what we can do uh, for mobile uh, devices and also just mobile adoption in general. Um, you know, the proliferation of mobile devices is great. And, uh, you know, we have specific services, you know, to help our customers, you know, fulfill the needs of those end users. Um, but also, too, just, you know, future-looking, if you want to look several years down the line, you know, we definitely see a shift in, you know, the way the Internet is going to be used and the types of experiences 
choices that end users are going to have online. Much more, we're, we're moving much more towards away from just websites and more towards you know, you know, experiences you know, with your TV and as you're watching stuff. So it's, it's much more than that. So we're looking at how we can integrate with those types of services as they become more broad. Great, thanks for your time today. Okay, thank you very much.